what's up welcome back to a new series that we're doing it's going to be short but sweet another cold war but this time it's cold war enhanced with the three of us playing co-op so you got myself as the small tiny itty bitty nation of israel uh res being his usual self and picking an island and the you know so he can be all protected and whatnot of the mighty empire of japan straight after world war ii and we have Nerfy as the uh, overpopulated India. So it's going to be hard. It's going to be fun. It's going to be challenging. But we'll see how things go. I don't expect really much to go on in the first episode. As you know, the usual gig. We all do our startup, you know, get things going and see how it goes. But trust me when I say this, there will be lots of action. Especially on my front as I attempt to expand Israel into a Middle Eastern superpower. So with that being said, I will see you all in the game. Okay, I think I have everything set back up. And now, start. All right. Are you in the game? I'm in the game. Okay, now we resume. As I was saying, I'm going to start by supporting you guys from the very get-go. Support me yeah, whenever support you feel like it. Oh, for sure. Oh my god, my tech. My tech is so bad. Yeah, early game tech is usually pretty bad, especially for these countries. We're all pretty behind, that's for sure. <laughs> I suggest a mutual trade agreement. <laughs> I have one research facility. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like we're going to be buying tech, boys. Yeah, we should have the money in a minute. Or, you know, Japan could just, you know, give us what you have right now. Be a friend, Japan. You may call that anime I porn. Have any more than India. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I'm just I'm ahead of you guys by like four texts, and that's it. My text stopped at 1946. I have almost nothing. Holy crap! Oh god, improved power grid. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, no. God. We need improved power grid. Well, it doesn't really matter at that point. The only thing I could do with this is... Put on power, military goods, none. History goods, commercial goods, none. Oh my god, it's so <laughs> bad. Hey, it's what I signed up for, though. Alright, let's make sure... Or don't touchy touchy, you know, I might have to take out debt just to survive this. Oh my god, I'm into 9.9 inflation, so I need to spin, spin, spin. All right, what do, what do I got to do that I can make some? All right, our daily income is three, our expense one. <laughs> We're getting six thousand from trade, so I, I can't really do anything right now. Uh, let me build one little, let me build a timber mill or an oil. Have any oil? Yeah, I have some oil right there. That's it. We'll build one oil. <laughs> and we'll build one, one timber mill. Comparison control, auto build, expensive units, air auto build, navy auto build on. It's a stupid pathing. Happens. All right, here we go. Uh, no attack. Allow units to path over neutral regions. No. Nope. 
Oh, use frail transport. Yes. Melted it. Huh? One kilometer, six attack, five attack. Well, it would be good to keep. Exclude that. I'll keep the actual infantry. I can even have in that. Don't have an air force. The first change this mod does that's going to have an impact generally in the area of me and Narfi is that Formosa is still at war with China. The ahistorical ceasefire that Battlegoat put in the base game does not exist in this mod. So they're actually just going to stay fighting each other, which is actually kind of interesting. I can't build anything right now. I don't let my economy pick up. But... Get some no, not with Canada. All right, old Canada, you mean that I don't have to pay for? Oh, well, can't afford to pay for anything right now, Canada. Come on. Oh, hates me. We form an alliance going with each other. <laughs> yeah. I got your treaty, Shibi, and I sent sons to Narfi. Yeah, Israel has like no fucking money at all at the start. <laughs> it just broke, even with support. Uh, requested they want one million for. Narfi, I just sent you a treaty. I accept that. Interesting. I start out with an AT design that I don't even have the research to use. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh. oh, that's funny. Uh, 
I don't even have tanks. Or artillery. I have nothing. I'm missing so many World War II texts in terms of non-tradables. Oh, man. I have an electricity shortage at the start of the game, which makes it hard for me to produce finished goods, of which I produce a lot of finished goods. I have, like, not nearly enough of any unfinished goods, any raw materials, including electricity. So that's going to be fun to fix. Yeah, electricity is the only thing I actually have a surplus of. The only thing I have a surplus oh, of. <laughs> I have consumer oh, and and I... production, like a, like a good amount of it. But it's just my electricity and my raw materials are terrible. And agriculture. But we all know what happens with agriculture. I'm utterly useless. That shit gets cheap. Oh yeah, how's all of our GDP in the world? Let's see. So India has the worst of us with 128. Actually, I have 389 and you have 589. And in comparison to things... We are all broke ass bitches generally <laughs> in terms of GDP, regardless. <laughs> Israel is actually in the upper echelon. The up the uppermost of the echelons, though, is just, you know, ridiculously high. Like four times higher almost, roughly three times at the moment. Uh you're about on par. You're like a hundred yeah, dollars ahead GDP wise. And uh compared to the Soviet Union. And that's Israel. And then India is just down there. Still ahead of China, and I'm in between you two guys. Where even am I on this list? There I am. Yeah, I'm I'm in the middle. I'm actually, in terms of countries, I'm roughly in the dead middle of the list. So we're very diverse nations here. India is going to be the producer, though. The average world GDP is uh, 4 ton. Okay, so only one of us is above the average world GDP, then. God, Japan starts off with literally almost nothing of anything. Like, their infrastructure is so simplified right now in this era, in general. It's interesting. If I'm going to be trading, it's definitely going to be through goods. I also start out with an excessive amount of like seaports and sea piers around my country, just due to, yeah, I, I guess, well, afford that. being an island. I can't even afford that. That's 125 million over you 80 know, I'm days. I'm probably going to get rid of every fucking sea pier that I see. <laughs> oh. Just keep seaports. 
add more later if I need to. Okay, give me money. <laughs> I need it. I need it now. Yeah, I have to. I would have to literally fucking pay for all my treaties. Damn. Fuck me. Everything is so expensive. I can't even build anything. <laughs> Yeah, as a tiny country like that, you need to be making mids. Yeah. This is what mids are for. Countries that are this tiny and this poor off the bat. Yep. And upgrade it later on. Yeah, or, or just, you know, leave it and start building new stuff later. Depends how it goes. But yeah, in... Usually... Israel just falls apart financially when an AI plays them. If you give them enough time, they just go completely broke. So I'm very curious to see how you handle this. Oh, yeah, me too. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. Uh, yes, huh. luckiest two countries supporting him. Yeah, but even then, I remember, remember, Shibi, when you were Boris Johnson and the oh, yeah. finances were not very good. <laughs> and that was the UK. <laughs> And that was the UK, and you're Israel now, so I hope your finances have improved. Actually, they kind of have a little bit, believe it or not. Not really running too bad of a deficit, keeping it like on par. Yeah, let's uh, let's scrap that shit then. Don't build that. That's a bad idea. Let's not do that. My credit rating. 74% interest rate 3.9. Hey, you asked, will you give me a good deal for some timber? Like shiver me timbers? Dude, they won't even fucking give me anything. <laughs> some agriculture you need some aggie god damn <laughs> oh so bad okay military dude we gotta stop off 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 spending too much don't need all that crap
Oh shit, I could actually literally fucking max this out and it'll stick his structure so low. I think it's pretty much gonna stay under a million anyway. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's just gonna be a whole lot of do nothing for right now. <laughs> Okay, I can actually afford a mid. Okay, what am I short on? Rubber. I am out of rubber. I at least build synthetic as I can. Oh dear lord, 403 million? Yeah, that's not going to happen. Exporters. Man, I want 10 million. Oh, for 2,000 tons. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh my god, Japan has designs for submarines that serve as short deck carriers and can load units from land and then load them like amphibiously. 
So it's like a carrier, a submarine, and a transport for naval amphibious landings. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I believe that these are essentially supposed to be the submarines that carried the midget submarines and then deployed them. I believe that's how they converted this into SRU, but I don't know the names historically to be able to confirm that. I'm not going to use it because it's fucking expensive, but it's cool that that's there and a thing. And ah, yes, my only capital ship is the Super Yamato. Wonderful. <laughs> Just whenever I get my first naval production, we're just going to pump out it. just only Super Yamatos. It's all we need. Huh. Nothing else. Earn 24 million. Yeah, I'm a long way from getting gas from oil. One point one billion over the course of seven years. Don't sell any of my rubber. I need that. <laughs> Portation oh, bad. It raised that up another dollar. Or domestic prices a little bit on stuff. Uh, AI is actually taking control of that. All I have is two coal power plants powering the whole nation. That's it. <laughs> All right. Get us a indie good. Ed. Towards that now. In fact, I can afford this one. <laughs> 